Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to Book and Bujo where I talk about all things books, bullet journals, and stationery. Today it's time for the It Isn't That Bad tag. A big thank you to Jim's Books, Reading, and Stuff for tagging me in this book tag and it was created by Melinda from A Web of Stories and I will leave both of their channels linked down below so you can check them out. So there are 10 questions with one bonus question so let's get started. Question number one. Do you dog ear your books? No I do not. When I was younger, middle school, high school, yes I did. Didn't really think much about it but now absolutely not. I always use a bookmark. And part of that is because I have these gorgeous bookmarks from G at Book Roast for the Magical Readathon. That makes it much easier to remember to use a bookmark when they are so beautiful like this one. Question number two. Do you annotate your books? No, I do not. Not because I don't want to, but I do a lot of audiobooks and it's hard to annotate an audiobook. <laughs> I also do a lot of library books, which is also hard to annotate your library books because you don't get to keep them. I also have a really old Kindle, so I can highlight and I can put notes and occasionally I do do that, but it's just more annoying than useful for the most part to annotate on my Kindle, especially since it's so old, so I don't have quite as many of the features that some of the newer ones do. And I also have a bunch of special editions of my books, and I don't want to write in them. <laughs> my older books, some of the older ones I have over here and up further top that you can't see, the older ones that are that are mine, like if I had uh, Jade City. So I have the pretty special editions, but if I also had like a paperback copy or just a regular normal edition of it, I, I would probably annotate it. I also have never really gotten into it that much. When I was younger, I used to highlight and underline and things like that in a lot of my books. Um, I do annotate in my Bibles, but not in any of my other books. Mainly kind of got out of the habit and haven't really got back into it. And I don't have a lot of just regular physical books of my own. So, Question number three. Do you roll covers or break spines when you read your books? I try not to. So no, but it does sometimes happen accidentally, especially like the breaking of a spine. So like this one, I would read it like this without opening it up all the way in order not to break the spine. And that would include my paperbacks as well. So I've had this one since I was a kid in the Pippi Longstocking book. And I would still, like my Mistborn copies, I would still kind of read them like this <laughs> if I can. Now this one is, is pretty beat up because as a kid I didn't care. But actually, like here, this one doesn't actually open up all the way. So there are sections where I have kind of broken it and others where I haven't. Plus, I think there's a lot of water damage on this one, too. It's it's pretty, pretty wonky over here. So maybe that's not a good, good example. So when I was younger, I, I did kind of, if you have paperback, you kind of fold the cover over. So you, yeah, I, I don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> do you listen to something while you read? Yes, I do. So if I am reading a physical book, I will definitely have some music on in the background, uh, sometimes some atmospheric videos or frequency videos. And sometimes if I'm eating lunch, I may be reading while I'm eating lunch, but also have a YouTube video on <laughs> in the background and somehow do all three of those things. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's a video I'm interested in, but I don't need to pay really close attention and I'm reading a book that I don't need to pay really close attention like a contemporary romance or something like that where you know you don't have to focus really hard on what's happening you just enjoy the read so sometimes I'll do those together but, and if I'm listening to an audiobook sometimes I will also still have music on somewhere in the room like turn the radio on or something like that just to have some some background noise which is kind of nice but for the most part if I'm doing an audiobook I'm just listening to the audiobook, but if I'm doing a physical read or with my Kindle, then I'll have some music or something on in the background. Question number five. Do you read in the bathroom? 
Yes, I do. When I'm getting ready in the morning or in the evening or I just have to run in there real quick and I'm already listening to an audiobook, I will just keep it going because the, the more chance I have to listen to an audiobook, I, I will take it. And I also, like if I'm brushing my teeth or something like that, a lot of times I'll have my Kindle with me. And if, I, if I'm going to be heading in real quick to the potty, sometimes I will bring this in just to give it a quick read. Plus it's really easy to clean it because I have this cover on it. So I can do a nice little wet wipe kind of sanitizing thing to my Kindle itself without having it so it doesn't get all gross. So I would not take a physical book into the bathroom though. Only an audiobook or my Kindle. No paper. <laughs> Which kind of leads into question number six. Do you read in water? So in a bath, if you're taking a bath, so in the bath, bathtub or in a pool or something like that, if you're out on, uh, on a boat or something, Yes, I do. So I have a bath tray that goes across the entire width of my bathtub and it has a little thing that comes up that props up so I can lean my Kindle on it and I can read while I'm in the bathtub. So yes, I do. Question number seven. Do you DNF? I do not. So DNF is do not finish. Sometimes I wish I did, but I don't. I, I'm gonna do the whole book. I may skim a bit and maybe not read every single solitary word. If it's one that I am just not vibing with at all, but sometimes it gets better. So on that off chance, I always finish a book. And I had one of those recently and the, the I should have just DNF that one by, at page 15, but I did not, I finished it and basically skimmed the rest of it, you know, just kind of, it was on my Kindle, so I just kind of was like, mm, mm. <laughs> and it just, until it got to spots where I'm like, okay, I'll read this section, and then, okay, then we'll skim these next few, but I do not DNF. Question number eight. Do you ever read ahead or skip to the end? When I was younger, yes. Every so often I would do that. I would kind of read towards the back or like look and see if somebody's name was still in the end sections of the book. But now as an adult, I do not. I take it as it goes and just page by page. Question number nine, are you book polygamous? Which means, do you read more than one book at a time? And yes, I most definitely do. I am almost always have three books going at the same time. I usually have an audiobook, a physical book, and an ebook going at the same time because it depends on what's happening in my day. If I am cooking or cleaning or getting ready in the morning, getting ready at night, anything like that, then I have an audiobook going. If I'm sitting at lunch or brushing my teeth or something like that, then I am going to be reading an ebook. And it works really well at night because I don't have to have lights on everywhere and I can still see to read. Physical books I will also read during breakfast or lunch or in the evening before we start getting ready for bed. So I typically have at least three books going at the same time. I think I only have three right now. Yeah, I have an audio, an ebook, and a physical book going right now. Sometimes I'll have four or five depending on what they are. So if I have an audio book that I cannot download to my phone for some reason, depending on the app that I have, I will have one that that one I will listen to while I'm home. And then if I'm in the car, I will download one that I'm able to listen to in the car. So sometimes I'll have two audiobooks going at the same time, but typically I have three at once. And finally, question number 10. Do you own more books than you have bookshelf space? Currently, no, but we're getting close. We're getting to the point where I'm looking at some of the decorations and things I have on some of these shelves that I might have to remove or uh, readjust how I have them so that I can fit more books. But I will first, instead of putting books this way, I will just put them all this way until I run out of room. And then eventually I will do this kind of setup, but over in that corner of the room, but then I have to move my desk and my desk will have to face this side of the room, which I don't know if I like that because my windows are here and here. So we'll see, I could put my desk here and face this way, but again, I'm further from the windows 
and then I'm in the way of the wall bed, which we have here. So I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. I don't want to fill these up too quick though. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That's a thought for future me. <laughs> Bonus question. Do you ever take a book without leaving a book at a little free library? No, I don't. We don't actually have a little free library anywhere in our neighborhood. There are quite a few. I mean, there's over 25 that I saw just as a quick count on the little free library has an app that shows you all of the little free libraries in the world. So you can find out if there's any in your area. And we have quite a few in Prescott itself, but there's none in my walking distance area of my house. So I don't utilize them at this time, but I have helped to make little free libraries and distribute them. And I have left books without taking them, but I haven't done it the other way around. So I've donated books to the little free libraries, but I've never actually taken one to read because I've never had one in my area. <laughs> and I wanna say again, a big shout out and thank you to Jim from Jim's Books, Reading and Stuff for tagging me because this was a really fun tag. And thank you again to Melinda from A Web of Stories for creating it. And if you have seen this tag and you're interested, consider yourself tagged. I'd love to see what your answers are. So make sure you tag me so that I can take a look and find out what your answers are. And thank you so much for joining me today and give the video a quick thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other bookish content. And until next time, keep reading. Bye.